pretty early. <laughs> so what did you guys get up to yesterday? I had a rehearsal because Katie's been in Europe for like two months. So we didn't really have a chance of having much of a jam before we left. Yeah, so literally. we were like, gotta learn like four new songs. Got back the night before and yeah, it was like a few new tracks. So uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> so, uh, but we smashed it, it was good. Sound good, sound good. Mm. So our uh, new material, hey, is that yes. stuff that's going to be debuted over here? Um, yeah, actually, yeah. like a few new tracks. I think we've played a couple of them at Radiothon, but mm. that's yeah, that for the new stuff. Definitely this side of the country, you probably wouldn't have heard any of these songs. <laughs> yeah, half the set, probably, so yeah. it's going to be good. So what can, uh, I guess, punters that have heard unconditionally, what can they, how would you sort of compare those new tracks to that song? I would say a bit more experimental. Um, few tracks like Honey, a bit more dancey, like the whole new EP is coming from a pop perspective and kind of referencing pop as a genre but maybe not in the whole track, so maybe just the lyrical content for one track, for example Honey, and then maybe just kind of the structure of another track, so it's all referencing the pop kind of sphere but not a tradition, in a traditional way, so so where did the um, the goal for that sort of come from? Like where did that influence um, sort of start to Um, I think kind of late last year, I just got really obsessed with pop tracks and how, you know, what is it about pop that resonates with so many people? And you know, how can I like write a pop tune? And it's really hard to you know, write something that's got such a simple structure that isn't cheesy. And um, yeah, I guess it was kind of like a challenge for me to be able to kind of move into that pop territory. And then I wrote quite a few tracks that I was just like, this is a bit too poppy. So then I kind of stripped it back and combined some more experimental elements and yeah, went from there. I'm producing it and then I basically have to take in the finished track and then we're running it through his desk. Just getting it mixed in his studio, really. Laura just records and produces it all in um, our home studio. Yeah. And then, yeah, take it into him and he just does the final mixing and runs it through the big desk and, yeah, gets it sounding. Tells me what I've done wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, I guess, you know, you, you say you sort of piece it together, the songs sort of come together over time, you, you track it at home, produce it yourself. What's the benefit of having that time and being able to I guess build something rather than you know just going in and smashing it out. What's the, what's the benefit of having the time, and the independence? I guess. I get to experiment and kind of explore all avenues that a track can go down, and definitely explore all avenues. Yeah. Like, <laughs> which is annoying for these guys because I like write a track and then I'll be like, all right, guys, we'll play it live at this gig, and then they'll learn the parts, and then like three days later, I'm like, oh, I reproduce that track so uh, you don't have to learn this new part Jeez. or like I've just deleted that whole ending so forget <laughs> that's that. why I was worried when I was away because I was like all the tracks that I think I know like when I come back they'll just be like a different genre or something and like kind of like kind of was the case but like <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm. jig a few songs but it's cool though because it keeps it like I know you play track live and it's like you can see how it goes down and then you can kind of go, oh, that part worked well in that kind of feel and then like Laura goes and like, you know, can like adjust it and change it and it's, yeah, cool. Keeps it always like new and fresh, which is like fun. Hi, we're Kuchka and we are at Big Sound and we are using the music app to find awesome bands and you can also find us on the music app too, so check it out. <laughs>